Alrighty, Diglett's Cave, what have we got here for us? Well, I'll be! Did you know this huge long tunnel? It was dug entirely by a Diglett! So is the plural of Diglett, Diglett? Interesting. In that case, let's take a look. Take a look-see. Oh, there's a Diglett right there. What do you know? Although, realistically though, am I? Dressed for this occasion. One could argue, perhaps not. And I was just on a ship, and we're in a ship outfit right now. That's ridiculous. Like, this Eevee, for example, first of all. Eevee, you don't need the clothes, alright? It, it's a cute, like, vest and all, but, you know, you don't need it. As for your hat... Mm, I, I kind of like the sports cap better. I'll just keep the sailor hat for now, though. And for Lizzie, of course. Let's see. Uh... Let's get a sports cap going, and then I might actually have the rest of the outfit be Eevee, perhaps. Like an Eevee top, okay. Pants. These We might make these sports as hmm. Now we go with the Eevee. Yeah. There we go. The bag, of course, has to be the Eevee bag. The Eevee, well... Yeah, we're sticking with the Eevee bag, it's, it's cute. And what shoes are we wearing? Sailor shoes? I actually do quite like the look of the sailor shoes. So we'll stick with that. There we go. Alright, now we are ready for adventure. As long as those adventures don't involve Zubats. Darn Zubats. Hmm. Man, I don't see what the hubbub was about this tunnel so far. I mean, it's just a tunnel. Bit obnoxiously long, but it's a tunnel. I wonder where this goes. What if we end up like straight up just in a city? Okay. For a second I was almost thinking it was like that uh, one staircase in Super Mario 64 where it's like endless, but like you, you can't, you don't actually notice. Oh, I've heard that there's a tunnel even dark inside than this one somewhere. Somewhere out there. Didn't... I don't know. So where did we end up? Route 2. Where is Route 2? I presume this is uh, Okay, so Diglett's Cave. Have we been here before? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we can use the technique chop down here. Okay. Okay. And up north this way, of course, we got a Pokeball. Always excited to see those. Three great balls. Uh, never excited to see those. One could say, aren't those objectively better than Pokeballs? And the answer is yes. However, Pokeballs could theoretically contain other things, whereas Great Balls are only ever Great Balls. Lizzie! Remember me, I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants! Perhaps vaguely, though honestly I'm not good with faces, so... I'm so glad I ran into you! Why don't I show you a neat trick? Actually, no. It's a little too bright out here. Inside! I'll be waiting inside to show you whenever you're ready, Lizzie. Where are we? So I know we're on Route 2, but like, where on Route 2 is this? I'm confused. Well, let's go inside. I got nothing better to do. So you came! Then let's get down to brass tacks. For some reason, I always thought that was tax, as in, like, the IRS. Huh. Well, you learn something new every day, even from a Pokemon game. I've got something good to show you. Believe it or not, I have mastered the secret technique, Light Up. Now we turn off the lights and... Wait, so just you, as a human being, have discovered the secrets of bioluminescence in yourself. You might want to have that looked at, honestly. <laughs> there, nice and dark. Now if you calm your heart... ...and breathe deeply... ...you'll be able to sense your surroundings, no matter how dark it is. See? It seems right, even with the lights off. Okay, well this just... ...this just poses more questions than it even answers, so it's not something like... ...so you aren't actually exuding light right now. You're just... Using your other senses, I guess, to simulate, to, to, to fill in the gaps that your lack of vision has made, uh, has left. 
So if that, so it's like an echolocation sort of deal. Great. If that's the case, why is it affecting me as well? My keen focus spreads to those around me, you see. Okay, I guess they did explain it. But... I, I, I'm still not quite satisfied by this explanation. <laughs> Here, I can teach you how to do it too. Looks like Evie wants to learn it. Huh? It seems Evie wants to learn it instead, Lizzie. Yeah, this Evie... Um, gotta love him, but he does like taking the glory quite often, honestly. What? Did you say it already knows the secret technique chop down? I mean, how secret can it be if everyone I run into seems to know about it, but yes. I see, Professor Oak had mentioned it, but it really does seem that your Evie is special. Fascinating, let me try to teach it. Here, let me turn off the lights again. Now, Evie, follow what I do. Calm your heart, breathe deeply, and sense your surroundings. Evie has learned the secret technique, light up. You're Evie. It really is quite wonderful. Now use secret techniques to your heart's content. Since they're not moves, you can use them even if your Pokemon doesn't have the energy. To battle. Okay, I presume that'll be useful at some point. You can get through the rock tunnel if you use the secret technique light up. Do you know where the rock tunnel is? You'll find it if you head east from Cerulean City. Noted. The rock tunnel, eh? I don't think we've been there before, but I could be wrong. Would be the first time I've been wrong, though it is a bit of a rare occurrence. Oh, Lizzie! Did you hear how to, to use the light up from Professor Oak's assistant too? Actually, Grant, I am a high-class trainer. I outsource such menial labor to my Pokemon. What? You didn't learn it, but Eevee did? Yes, I just told you that. That partner of yours really is amazing, Lizzie. Hey, you know what? I actually know some place where you might be able to use it. Is it perhaps the rock tunnel to the east of Cerulean City? Want me to take you there? Sure, Grant, let's go together. All right, we'll be there in no time. Come on! So just head east here from Cerulean City. <laughs> what did I say? Uh, that's this direction, got it? Just keep going this way and you'll eventually hit this cave system called the Rock Tunnel. Oh, it's pitch dark. If you use light up, though, you don't have to be scared of the dark. See you around! Can I look at the map? I'm very- like, we've done so much, like, teleporting and tunneling around, I have no idea where we're at right now. I guess we're in Cerulean City, but... I was working on editing a video, so I haven't played in a couple days. Um, there's the map. So I don't really remember where anything is. Oh, Cerulean City, okay, it's that city. Right, where, we, where Misty's from. Okay, I wonder if that's why she was showing us the Diglett Cave, because it's like a super shortcut. Okay, okay, interesting. So I guess next up we'll be going through the Rock Tunnel here. And that'll bring us to Lavender Town. Gotcha, gotcha. Although, before we do that, we should probably check on, uh... Magikarp. We left Magikarp at that, like, weird daycare place. So, uh, I'm curious how he's doing. Shouldn't take too long to get there. Indeed, I believe it's this building right here. Let me in. Hey, Magikarp! How you doing? Yeah, I can see they don't really have water for you, but, you know. We survive. Regardless. I run the Pokemon Daycare and look after Pokemon. Now then, what would you like to do? Uh, let's pick up Magikarp. Magikarp's level has increased by around three since you last visited. What? You're holding my Magikarp hostage unless I give you money? Man, what has this world come to? Sure, $400 or whatever. Also, three levels, that hardly seems impressive. You picked up Magikarp from the Daycare Lady. By the way, your Pokemon found this. A silver Nana Berry. So not only are you paying me, or, or am I having to pay you just to get my Magikarp back. Not only did my Magikarp only go up three levels, but you were apparently having him do, like, manual labor out in the fields looking for berries. 
I I'm leaving this one establishment a one star on Yelp. That's for sure. If you'd ever like me to raise a Pokemon for you, feel free to drop by any time. Uh, I mean, let's take a look at uh, Magikarp. How are you doing? I yeah, you're only level 15. I can't remember how much our other Pokemon leveled up in that same time period. I mean, probably like around three levels sounds about right. No, it's must. Well, maybe. I don't know. But even so, that's actually kind of terrible because I believe they need more XP to level up as their higher level. So. I don't think we'll be frequenting the daycare, at the very least. Uh, what we will be doing, though, is running off to uh, the rock tunnel. I'm sure there will be... Have we actually... Everyone's in good condition, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's great. Okay. Moving on. Although, there is actually one thing I kind of want to look into while we... Before we advance further, which is, I think in the previous city, before we got to this one, I think there was a place where we could actually use Cut and p might potentially get something good from it. So I'd be curious to look into that. Um, obviously we're not trying to do anything crazy. Can we act? Is this a one-way route? Are we, like, stuck here now? I haven't counted in Ekans, apparently. Gonna have to run away from that. Which, I mean, that's a smart thing to do in real life, running away from snakes. I, I had some crazy friends back in the day that, like, caught one and ate it. Um, like, literally, like, roasted it up over, like, a, a an open fire and ate it. Oh, Pokeball. I actually had a bite. It was, uh, decent. It's... I mean, the standard sort of, like, stock answer to that sort of thing is, like, Oh, what did it taste like? It tasted like chicken. And, but what I will say, fish, actually, would have, is the uh, better comparison. Like a, like a white fish, like a tilapia or something. Okay, I'm so confused as to how to navigate around. You guys need better infrastructure. This is ridiculous. Okay, I think if we cut down this bush, that should help us. I, that, calling that a tree is a bit generous, but, you know, whatever. Now, I know the rock tunnel's that way, but, like, I, I was curious if there was anything this way. Hmm. I am mildly disturbed by our Mew being at the front, so, like, kind of makes it look like I'm, like, following my Mew's orders around, which, you know, that, that's just not the optics I'm really going for. Yeah. I mean, Lizzie is the queen of this operation here, and, uh, we, we don't like Mew, uh, usurping that position. You have Pokemon with you. You are my easy target. Wouldn't having Pokemon with me make a har make me a harder target? You are challenged by Picnicker Alicia. Okay, well then. Let's see what you got. Oh, an Eevee! Okay, looks like I've got Mew going out by default at the moment. So, Eevee is normal. I'm not sure any of these are particularly great against normal type, but Swift is a generally good move. Okay. Got a Tail Whip going. Okay, let's actually swap out, and let's get Magikarp out here, so that Magikarp can, you know, level up slightly. Not sure what that's going to actually do for us in the long term, but, you know, it can't be a bad idea. Sand attack, that's... Fine, I'm fine with the status effect on Magikarp, because, I mean, what was Magikarp going to do? Splash her? Nah, 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 nah. Alright, now we're going to switch to... Eevee. Because, uh, my Eevee is stronger than your Eevee. I guarantee it. And my Eevee has a cool hat. Can you say the same? Didn't think so. What even was that move? Uh, let's just kick the Eevee. Uh, 
Ah, oh, another Pokemon is gonna be coming out. Ain't that something? What is this next Pokemon? A Gloom. Is that that depressed looking like corpse flower Pokemon? In that case, we're gonna want whoever has the fire attack. I think Eevee has the fire attack, so we'll just keep Eevee. Oh, well, I was right, it's that depressed looking uh, corpse flower Pokemon. Awesome. Sizzly slide, let's go. I'm shocked that didn't uh, just flat out kill the thing. Oh, never mind. It's gonna get burned, and the burn's gonna do it. Yeah, it absorbed me. I feel violated. I kind of feel like like we could probably just like switch out Eevee for Magikarp to get like a bit of extra leveling going. And the burn should probably finish the job, honestly. Acid! Ooh, that's... mean. Oh my goodness. Well, the gloom was hurt by the burn, at least. Sick burn. Okay. So, I guess we should probably go back to a Pokemon Center to revive our Magikarp. Like, I mean, not that the Magikarp's, like, existence is ever going to be what, like, is the determining factor in a battle. But, I also don't think it gets XP if it's been knocked out, so... This seems... That's a gem, that's not a Pokemon Center. What am I doing? And yes, it's full of refreshing water, but we don't have time to swim? You think Game Freak had the time to make a, a swimming suit outfit for uh, Lizzie? No. And, and we're not jumping in there fully clothed? That's ridiculous. That being said, what if our Magikarp could train at the water gym? I mean, it is a fish. Like, it could, like, swim around, do some laps, come back even stronger. It's an idea, that's for sure. Okay, um, so... Let's see... Can you... Could you teach my Magikarp anything? Hey, yo! Do you just... No, I, Eevee's fine. I kind of would have liked you to get my Magikarp something. What I will do, though, is I think if we put Magikarp at the front of the, uh, party... Then that might help get it some more experience. And I mean, obviously, we'll probably just switch it out immediately, but I think that'll still technically count as having, like, been in the battle. Which should get it slightly more experience, and hopefully leveled up to something useful, maybe? I don't know, I mean, for all I know, I might be pouring resources into what is effectively a joke Pokemon due to how useless it is. But, you know, when you've got a team of four... Uh, you, you try to make the best out of all of them, right? Oh, look at that Nidoran. You know, as someone who's never played a Pokemon game before, it is actually kind of interesting to me how... Oh, ha ha ha, great, I was born. And now, granted, I'm not... I've been aware of Pokemon for a while, right? You know, it's a big f franchise. You almost can't at least absorb some of it through uh, cultural osmosis, right? So, yeah, I've played Smash Brothers. I've heard people talk about it. I think I might have even seen some YouTube videos about the Pokemans. Uh, okay, we're going to want to switch out to something that's better against Rock, like a War Turtle, perhaps. Even though it's already pretty overleveled. It's fine, though. It's fine. Anyways, but I will say, uh, I'm not sure if it's because of, like, the designs or the names being, like, puns and kind of straightforward and stuff, but it's actually surprisingly easy to uh, remember all of the, uh, I, I would say all of the Pokemon, because I definitely don't know what all of the Pokemon are, but 
seems like the ones that are coming up fairly frequently in this game. I'm actually doing a fairly decent job at remembering what they all are based on just sights. Which, I mean, in a way, it almost shouldn't be impressive, because, like, I mean, what, it's like 150 Pokemon? Or 151 or something? And how many words are there in the English language that I know? I mean, pra. I need the English language has to have tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of unique words. Uh, I, I'm not sure what the official statistic is on that. And I personally know, I mean, obviously not all of them, but I, I'd say I probably know the majority of words in the English language. It's certainly at least of the ones that are, you know, used in common parlance. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I probably don't know the one particular, like, unit of measurement that's only used in, uh, you know, PhD level. I was gonna say alchemy, which isn't actually something you can get a PhD in, to my knowledge. <laughs> but, like, uh, uh, I don't know. Is Can you get a PhD in electricity? I guess electrical engineering, that's a thing, right? You know what is actually surprising? Why is Splash a normal type move? Shouldn't it be a water type move? I I'm just saying, it's like... I, I, don't pers I don't splash things with normalness, I splash things with, you know, water, typically. Yeah, maybe some sort of cleaning solution if I'm getting real fancy. Did that thing just self-destruct? I thought that was like the Electrobes or Voltorb things. I think Electro might be a Spider-Man villain, now that I think about it. Oh, Magikarp has leveled up. Maybe it'll become something useful, eventually. Or, yeah, maybe learn a move other than Splash? I didn't even read what Pokemon he's sending out next. Uh, we'll switch to Eevee. Eevee can handle most things. Okay. Hopefully it's not like some sort of crazy like fighting type Pokemon or something. Oh, another Geodude. Is this one also going to self-destruct? I don't think fighting type is strong against rock, but I could be wrong. Oh, it is. Okay. Wow. I guess that could be in reference, because fighting type is like martial arts and stuff, so like that could be in reference to like when people break like cinder blocks. Okay, let's actually pay attention to what he's sending out next. Okay. I feel like there's got to be a faster way they can send all of this like I didn't even read that. I think it's a Geodude, so we're gonna sl Never mind, we're, we're keeping battling. It's another Geodude, okay. And actually, you know, fighting's strong against a Geodude, so we'll just keep double kicking. What? Oh, he's biding his time, right? Okay. Don't self-destruct on me. You might win the match that way, hint, hint. Wink, wink. Hmm. Anyway, so I've been, uh, you know, on occasion I watch some YouTube videos, and one thing I will say is, you know, it's funny, because you always hear people talking about, like, how smart the algorithms are or whatever, but that does kind of also ignore, like, like, yeah, like, 10% of the time or something, like, the advertising algorithms can be, like, right on points, although... Even at that, a lot of the times it's like really simple stuff. Like for example, I was buying a book off of Amazon. Uh, I was buying what was it? Uh, the Prince by Machiavelli, and immediately Amazon it was just plastering me with like, "Hey, we saw you uh, purchased uh, the Prince by Machiavelli. Here's like 30 other translations of it." 
because obviously it's it's an old book from like the Renaissance, so it's uh, got it. so it's obviously in the public domain. So like, tons of different publishers are, have their own printings of it. So there's tons of different ones you can get. And uh, yeah, on the one hand, it's like yeah, I guess technically speaking, I am the sort of person who is would be into buying the prints uh, by Machiavelli. However, however, I, I will also state that. I just purchased The Prince uh, by Machiavelli, and don't particularly need a second copy of it. So these advertisements, Amazon, are worthless to me. Or, uh... I don't even know how this happened, because I, oh, I used to never get these ads for the most part. At least not on PC. D did it just dig? I think it just dug. Water's stronger... Water's strong against ground anyway, right? I, I guess we'll just buff ourselves? Maybe do a nice little... Withdraw? I think that increases defense. That was an interesting animation. See, that's how you're supposed to res A critical hit? Man... Okay, get scalded. That's how you're supposed to respond to... The opponent digging. Not by just, you know, hitting the air. A lot of, like, uh, grounded rock type Pokemon on this route. Which is cool and all. However, like, Wartortle is already the Pokemon that's like. Mew wants to start in the move Amnesia? That sounds utterly worthless, but we'll take a look at it. We'll, we'll look into it. Oh, it's a psychic move! Never mind, I am so happy that this has finally arrived. Okay, Amnesia, what can you do? Okay, the user temporarily empties its mind to forget its concerns. It sharply raises the user's special defense. I mean... Like... I, I, and don't get me wrong, I see the use case. Uh, and I guess, your know, Pound isn't really doing anything at the moment. So we can probably per forget Pound. I mean, I think Swift is just, like, better for the most part. Uh, so, so we'll forget Pound for Amnesia. But, uh... I'm not excited to forget Pound. For Amnesia. I, why is Amnesia even all that special? Is that not the ability all of the Pokemon have when they forget their moves? <laughs> Eradicate. Uh, so actually we're going to switch to Eevee because normal can be beaten up by fighting. Also, call me imperceptive. However, I only just now noticed that, like, stat hexagon in the top right of the screen. I don't know what I thought it was, I just honestly- I only noticed it existed just now. It's actually pretty useful information, as it turns out. Because as of right now, I've just kind of been assuming what my Pokémon's stats were, of like, oh, it's a- uh, you know, an Eevee is like a fluffy little creature thing, it's probably all about, like- It's probably not mostly about special defense, it's probably about, like, standard defense. But, like, who would have thought? I can actually just know for sure. Anyway, so back to advertising. Yeah, we might actually want to consider going to the Pokemon Center soon. I hate to do that, though. What? I'm confused with what the Raticate did. Anyways, back to advertising. So I used to, at least on PC, because, you know, sometimes you use, you're watching YouTube on the phone, sometimes you're watching it on the PC. On the PC, I used to never get mobile game advertisements. And now, for some reason, I'm not sure if maybe I just, like, accidentally, like, left one on when I, like, left the room or something. And now you, and, like, let it play the whole way through, so now YouTube all of a sudden is like, Oh my goodness, he let a mobile advertisement, like a mobile game ad, play the whole way through. That must mean he's interested. No, it just means I wasn't paying attention, which... Kind of is the inverse of what you want from an advertisement. 
Who are you? That's a nice Pokemon you're walking with. Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, but now, like, seriously, it seems like mobile adver mobile game advertisements are like half of what I get. And yeah, it's, it's mildly annoying. And it's always the same thing, for the most part, you know, it's those stupid, like, number things, or it's like, oh, the enemy, like, you beat an enemy with bigger or with smaller numbers than you, and then, like, obviously the ad does, like, something completely stupid. Because, why not? And it's like, you know, I mean, sometimes it's different, sometimes you're in hell. Sometimes it's, like, 2D, sometimes it's got some, uh, you know, what's the term? Like, some isometric graphics going on, you know? Sometimes they just throw away, uh, throwing some sex appeal. <laughs> uh, it's like, I don't know. And as I understand it, now granted, I've never actually played any of these games that they're advertising. But as I understand it, the games don't even resemble the advertising, so I'm not even sure what the point is, like... And even if someone found the gameplay featured in the advertisement compelling, would they not then download the game, realize, oh, this isn't anything like the ad that sold me on it, and then, like... Yep. You know, just, like, stop playing it? <laughs> Which is kind of important for, like, a mobile game, because, like, usually they're, uh... Oh, we got a new move, Bites. Hold on a second. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so bites. What bites do you? 60 power, 100 accuracy. The target is bitten with viciously sharp fangs. This may also make the target flinch. Ooh, flinching chance. So this is 60, 100. That's 70, 100. But I think tail whip is... Okay, honest question. What does a power of uh, M dash mean? Because either, either that means there's no power. Oh, oh, it's a tail whip. It's, okay, that's, this is one of the, like, status effects one. It lowers the opponent's defense. Hmm. We have actually used tail whip on multiple occasions. Um. We have only used withdraw once. And granted, it is useful in the context of someone digging. Granted, that doesn't come up all that often. Um, hmm. Now, from a stats perspective... No, it, Headbutt is actually better from a stats perspective. Right, I mean, Bite is, what, a dark type, slightly worse Headbutt, ultimately. So it doesn't really make sense to replace Headbutt with it. It doesn't really make sense to replace a Water Move with it. Tail Whip has enough utility that, like, I kind of want to keep it around. And Withdraw we have used literally once. But I can see the utility, potentially, of having, like, a really tanky War Turtle. And correct if I'm wrong, but don't you get, like, a bonus? Like... Don't moves that are, like, the same type as your Pokemon, don't they do those moves, like, better than, like, normal moves? N not normal as in the type, but, like, moves that are not also the same type as the Pokemon in question. Although, I guess the thing with Tail Whip, though, is we do have redundancy, right? I think Eevee also has Tail Whip. Okay, and then I guess here's another question. So, Bite is a Dark-type move. What is a Dark-type move good against? I can't really... I mean, obviously, it is good against something, but I can't, off the top of my mind, like, intuit what it would be good against. Uh... And there's an argument to replace Headbutt with Bite. And here's how the argument goes. Our other Pokemon already have a lot of normal type moves. From So from like a type advantage perspective, if we replace the, the normal type move with a dark move, we're getting, our team as a whole is getting better coverage over what we can handle. 
effectively. Super effectively, even. So, like, do I... I guess the question then becomes, if that's the move I want to replace... And, and Bite does have more uses, to be fair. Granted, that almost never seems to actually come up as, like, a factor, but it's there. So are we willing to sacrifice 10 power to expand the range of different types of moves we can utilize? I guess my answer to that will be... Yes? Because also worth noting, is normal type actually effective against anything? I don't think it is. And I can't think of anything that it would logically be effective against. So, like, I guess we're in the situation where, from a typing perspective, as long as water and bite don't overlap on the things they're weak against, then, like, I don't... From a type perspective, there isn't much downside to getting rid of the normal move. Okay, we'll, we'll do it. Well, I guess that could be a downside if we end up going against a Pokemon that is... But, I mean, normal type has weaknesses too, right? Isn't normal weak... Normal's weak against, like, rock. Which, granted, water is super effective against, so that doesn't really come into play that much. Yeah, let's go for it. We'll replace Headbutt with Bites. I honestly said it was probably more thought than that deserved, but, you know. Happens. I mean, we only have four Pokemon to work with, and realistically three Pokemon to work with. Each of these decisions is, is important. A Fero. Hmm. I don't think we have anything particularly great against a Fero, however, I think we will switch regardless, so that Mew can have a chance to get some more levels. Yeah. So, does Mew evolve, ever? Like, into, like, a Mewtwo or something? I bet Thunder... Yeah, Electricity should be good against a Flying Pokemon, right? I was correct. The Fero has fainted. Alrighty. Good job, Mew. Later, Chris. Anyways, but as for the mobile advertisements... So, and then, you, you know how you also, like, just from watching the advertisements, you know it's got to be, like, completely unrepresentative of the game? Oh, that's where we came from. Because the mobile advertisements, like, they've got- they end up having, like, a whole bunch of different, like, advertisements that feature completely different gameplay, advertising ostensibly the same game. Which, like, oh, we got Black Belt Bryce. Presumably he has fighting-type Pokémon. Yep, that's a monkey, alright. Okay, so we're definitely switching out. Here's the question, though. Who do we put out there? Definitely not Eevee, because fighting, I believe, is strong against normal. Now, I'm not sure if Psychic is good against fighting or not, because I can see it going one of two ways. Either, like, uh, my Psychic powers are can, like, completely overwhelm your measly physical attacks. Or, the, the uh, like, martial artist, like, who knows, like, punches and stuff beating up the nerdy Psychic Pokemon. So I don't know. We'll put me out there regardless, and I guess we'll see how it goes. I presume a monkey- uh, a monkey is fighting type. I didn't actually check that. It seems about right, though. I mean, look at those fists. A karate chop- yeah, you seem like a fighting type. Okay, so Psychic is effective against fighting. Good to know. Um... Yeah, let's zap him.
Okay, so it's not super effective or anything, it's just a, a good move. Uh, later, Mankey. But anyways, uh, so needless to say, though, the, those companies, I mean, companies, if you're listening right now, please stop playing your mobile game advertisements when I'm watching YouTube. I'm, I'm never downloading your app, okay? It, it's not gonna happen. What's that? I already have other hobbies that I'd engage with during breaks in my day-to-day -day life when I have my phone with me. Uh, I don't need your meaningless app. Don't you dare patronize me. And honestly, I don't think I've... Yeah, I I've never actually... And even if I did download your app, I'm not gonna pay for it. I've literally never played paid for something in a free-to-play app on my phone. Okay, so you're like a water type? I forget if water is effective against electricity or if electricity is effective against water. I think electricity is effective against water because like, I remember we weren't using War Turtle in the electricity gym specifically for such a reason. Yeah, the only time I've ever, like, paid anything for, like, a free-to-play app... Actually, no, no, this isn't even the case. I was going to say it was when I had, like, a Google Play Store balance that was, like, going to expire, like, that month. But no, I didn't even, like, spend it on a microtransaction or anything, I just bought a, like a book <laughs> on the Play Store, like one of those like choose your own adventure app things. Cause who doesn't like a bit of interactive fiction from time to time? Okay, a Pidgeotto? Oh, that's perfect. We'll zap it out of the sky. Keep it up, Mew. Well done. Well done indeed. Oh, Magikarp has grown to level 17. Still doesn't know anything useful. No, you're too much. Yeah, I would be curious about the statistic. What percentage of players playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee have the Magikarp in their team at this stage of the game. I kind of want to go down, but like I'm worried it's going to be a point of no return, so we won't. Well. Well. Yeah, let's explore thoroughly. Okay, I feel punished. What was the point of that? Uh... Oh well, oh well. We're going the wrong way. What does this sign even say? Yeah, yeah, we're going to the rock tunnel. I'm, I'm aware of the rock tunnel. Nope, we're not going the wrong way. Huh, confusing area. Wait, what am I doing? Hold on, did I get lost somehow? How have I never been here? I found an ether. Apparently. And, and I'm gonna like fight a bug catcher, perhaps? Go, my super bug Pokemon! Hmm. You're challenged by bug catcher Connor. A Paras? What the heck is that thing? It's a monstrosity. Um, let's send Eevee out to deal with it. Uh, hopefully it doesn't hit very hard, because Eevee doesn't have much health left. Okay. 
You can definitely burn bugs, right? Like, that's gotta be a super effective. It is super effective. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. My bug Pokemon! Yeah, I will say. I kind of... And granted... Uh, well, we're gonna go uh, back and heal the Pokemon while we're right here, because somehow we got so lost that we just ended up back in the city. Ain't that something? Anyways, I will say, I kind of miss already the, uh, the SS Dan, I think is what it was called, the, the ship. I know. And I know mechanically, going down the routes and, like, battling all of the trainers on the routes is effectively, like, mechanically the same as, like, going from room to room in the ship and battling all the trainers, but I don't know. Like, going around the ship, you just, you just felt different, you know? Just had a bit of extra je ne sais quoi. I, I don't know why my Pokemon are so fascinated with that fountain all the time. Honestly, it's starting to get on my nerves. But yeah, I mean, I've got nothing against the standard, like, battling people on a route, but, you know. I, I, I do l appreciate when they mix it up. Okay. Hopefully, we don't get lost this time. 